Hey guys, what's up? I got really special news to share today. I'm excited to announce I'm gonna become part of the Las Vegas Aces organization. It was a matter of time before I was back in a building with some of the greatest athletes in the world. And I grew up with three older sisters. Uh, they were all incredible athletes in their own right. They were role models to me. It's where my love of women's sports began. I tagged along, I was the annoying little brother to all their games. And they were the best athletes in our house and they're still a great inspiration to me. So I admire all the work the Aces players and staff and what the WNBA continues to do to grow the sport and to empower the future generations of female athletes, one I'm, I have in my own family and I'm ready to contribute in any way possible as a member of such a great organization. What an honor. I can't wait to watch these amazing talented players bring another championship to Las Vegas. LFG. LFG. Far better than FTX for Tom Brady at this point. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Hopefully this <laughs> venture with the Aces goes better than his whole FTX thing. Now he's a minority owner of the WNBA team owned by Mark Davis, the Raiders owner. And it was just last summer when Dana White, the UFC president, was saying how close Davis came to bringing Tom Brady to the Raiders, and it was John Gruden who put the kibosh on it. And look, I don't think this means anything, but I still think Tom Brady has no idea what he's going to want to do this football season until football season gets closer. He now officially has a business partnership with the guy who owns the Raiders, Peter. I mean, clearly this is something that is going to be in Brady's tool belt. Because, look, you've seen a lot of high-profile, very highly paid players like Patrick Mahomes get involved in team ownership. Patrick Mahomes and his wife are involved in team ownership with the women's soccer team in Kansas City. And he, I don't know if his wife is involved with the Kansas City Royals, but he's also a minority partner in the Royals. So this is just the next step for Tom Brady in whatever his life becomes. I don't believe that it has any bearing on whatever he does in football. And by the way, I will go on record as saying I don't think Tom Brady will take another snap. We'll see what happens, but I think this is the permanent site we're going to see of Tom Brady announcing various things and him doing other things than throwing a football for a living again. I think that he thinks he's done as of March 24. I think there's a chance he's going to feel differently as we get closer to football season, much like Brett Favre felt differently as he got closer to the 2008 football season. There's just something about standing on the brink of the reality that the train is going to keep rolling without you, without the GOAT. And he's still capable of playing. That's the thing. He's not walking away because of injury. He's not walking away because Father Time has won. He's walking away because he's choosing to while he can still play. Jim Gray asked him that a few months ago on his Let's Go podcast. You said you would retire when you suck. You don't suck. Why are you retiring? And he said, and Peter, I don't know if you and I have had this conversation, but this is the ultimate safe harbor for lying. This is even better than Costanza's, it's not a lie if you believe it. What Brady said was, I believed it when I said it. That's powerful. I believed it when I said it. Well, you can use that for anything. So when he does unretire, if he does, and I, you know, I'm kind of having fun with it, I would like for him to play because he's good for our business. But all he has to say is, when I retired, when I said I was done, I believed it when I said it. I just can't imagine that, especially with, look, I don't know where, I assume that, you know, his two children are living in the Miami area. Miami. Uh, I per, Personally, personally, I cannot, I, I would be very, very surprised if he up and moved to pick a team, I, I, you know, that isn't the Miami Dolphins. And, and who knows? I, I just don't think it's going to happen. I think he is, uh, he would be cognizant of the fact that this would be the ultimate waffle. Uh, and I just don't think he wants to do that. 
I really think he wants to move on with life as painful for him as I'm sure this new life is because it has been so disrupted in the last year. And and look, I, I agree with you, but we keep hearing these stories from time to time. Most recently, Ben Roethlisberger talked to the 49ers last year when they were in need. Guys will get injured. Will a phone that was call weird. be made? What will he say? How will he, <laughs> how will he feel at the time? That's the thing. How he feels now versus how he'll feel at the time, we don't know. And more importantly, he doesn't. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.